This is an early 19th century mahogany portable desk or writing slope. Uh, very well made, fairly standard, but it does stand out for one reason. So let's have a closer look. So you can see it's made with a good, rich, deep mahogany. Um, it's heavily strapped with brass. We've got nice shaped brass corners to the top, but also we've got these long straps to both sides, all the way around the box, apart from the underside, and these extra corner straps. Added to that, you've got a very nice shaped engraving plate to the top, which has been left blank. The handles stand out a little bit, um, a little bit unusual in their shape with this nice stepped design to the sides there. Just lift that up with a little uh, fingernail hole there so you can get in. And steel screws have been used to fix all of the brass strapping and handles, which is quite a nice touch. So let's open it up and have a look further. We'll turn it around for you. So we've got the base lining, um, which is what we would expect, really. You've got your desk tidy area to the top, places to put your inkwells, uh, pens, etc etc this is all fairly standard we've got a well area here and uh, ribbons to put papers not unusual for these to be a little bit damaged unfortunately um, we might be able to tidy that up a little bit but at least they're original the ribbons So, typically you would expect with a writing slope that this area under here is going to have the secret drawers. And we can feel there's a bit of give there. So, you can feel the tension, you can feel that there is a spring. Now normally, with a writing slope like this, there's going to be a button just to the side here that you press to release the catch and so the spring, or you might lift up one of these dividers. None of that's working. Very occasionally, you open up the lock, you get the pin which locks the side drawer and you'll push it into the lock and that might release it. But none of these methods work on this particular slope. This is the reason that it stands out. This is why it's a little bit unusual. And it's a method for opening the secret drawers that we haven't seen before. So, we remove the pin to pull open the drawer. And the release button is actually hidden underneath here. So let's open it and then we'll take the drawer out and uh, see if we can give you a bit of a closer look. So, one, two, three. There you go. Let's just try that again. So, with a fascia board open, we can see we've got three little drawers here which are faced in satin wood um, with what looks to be ebony stringing around the edges and a nice little turned ebony knob handle there. So three secret drawers to hide your guineas, your gold coins, your love letters, whatever. And if we turn this around a little bit, we can see down here, We've got the spring. You probably can't see that, but it's slightly moving as I press the button. And here we've got the spring, which gives you retention and a little brass fitting to lock in 
here. So let's put that back and uh, take this drawer out and see if we can show you You can see just under here, the button to push and release the writing slope. So, there you go. There's always something unusual to be seen in the antiques trade. And that certainly is a method of opening secret drawers that we've never seen before. Um, not terribly complicated, but of course, it just gives you another extra little layer of security just to keep your box nice and secure. But aside from that, this is, you know, a good quality box. No maker's name to it, but it's been very well made. Good choice of timber. The brass work is all very nicely done and uh, it's quite good quality. So there you go early 19th century, portable writing uh, desk or writing slope as they're often called today with an unusual method of opening the secret drawers. <laughs>